Here is an expanded version with 12 additional paragraphs, all written in simple flowing narration, no titles, no brackets, no quotation marks, no symbols, just clear paragraphs. Dash dash dash. The Tejas Mk2 represents a new era in India's fighter aircraft development, and one of the most important things to understand is how deeply the aircraft has evolved from earlier ideas. At the heart of this evolution is the combination of raw performance with modern digital systems. HAL and the Indian Air Force have both emphasized that the Mk2 is intended to operate comfortably in the demanding environments of modern air combat, where quick information processing and rapid decision making are just as important as engine power or maneuverability. This is why the aircraft has been engineered with a digital flight control system, refined aerodynamics and significantly upgraded internal architecture compared to previous versions. Another interesting aspect is the pilot experience inside the aircraft. The entire cockpit has been built around reducing workload so the pilot can focus on mission demands rather than managing too many controls. The large area displays are designed to merge multiple data inputs into clean visuals, allowing instant interpretation. Features such as hands-on throttle and stick help the pilot operate critical systems without needing to look away or search for switches. All these upgrades mean the MK2 is not only about power but also about pilot-centric efficiency. In addition to its improved avionics, the sensor fusion capability allows information from radar, infrared systems, electronic warfare sensors and communication links to be combined into one unified picture. Instead of relying on fragmented data from individual sensors, the pilot sees a single, integrated awareness map. This is especially useful during multi-threat engagements where modern fighters must track many objects at once, both on land and in the air. It also enhances survivability by giving early warning against incoming threats. The aircraft's structural changes also bring substantial advantages. The longer fuselage and more powerful engine enable the MK2 to carry more internal fuel, which increases its combat radius without the need for additional tanks. This is critical for long-range missions, border patrol, maritime surveillance and long-endurance missions where staying airborne longer allows more flexibility. The strengthened undercarriage and hardpoints allow the aircraft to take off with heavier weapons loadouts without sacrificing safety or performance. One of the areas that often gets overlooked is the ease of maintenance. HAL has designed the aircraft so that technicians can access key internal components more quickly. Aviators have repeatedly highlighted that shorter maintenance cycles translate into better availability rates. For example, engine access panels, avionics bays and critical subsystems are laid out in a way that reduces downtime. After mission completion, a fighter that can be inspected and turned around quickly is much more valuable to its air force. The Tejas Mk2 is also expected to incorporate modern cooling systems and power management units that support high-demand electronics like AESA radar and advanced jammers. As aircraft get smarter, the internal electronics draw more power and generate more heat. Efficient thermal control ensures the systems operate without overload. These enhancements may not be flashy from the outside, but they play a huge role in the reliability and longevity of the aircraft's sensitive components. Another notable upgrade is its ability to operate in network-centric warfare environments. This means the Mk2 can share real-time data with friendly aircraft, ground units, ships and command centers. Instead of acting as an isolated unit, it becomes part of a larger battlefield network. When multiple jets operate cooperatively, they can coordinate tactics, share radar pictures and even target enemies without all of them turning on their own radars, preserving stealth and reducing exposure. When it comes to external stores, the MK2's expanded payload opens a wide range of mission possibilities. It is expected to carry long-range air-to-air missiles, modern precision-guided bombs and anti-ship weapons. These capabilities give the aircraft strategic flexibility. For maritime roles, the ability to strike ships at long distances adds strength to naval operations. For air defense roles, modern missiles provide extended engagement ranges, enhancing the Air Force's deterrence capability. The overall design also considers future upgrades. HAL has stated that many parts of the aircraft's architecture are modular, meaning new technology, weapons or sensors can be integrated more easily later in its service life. This ensures that the platform stays relevant for many years.
Aircraft programs that incorporate modular design help air forces keep costs manageable, as future improvements do not require complete redesigns. The aircraft is also expected to support modern-day training and simulation systems. Pilots can practice complex missions using virtual networks and then seamlessly transition to real aircraft operations because the cockpit layout and system behavior match their training environment. This makes the MK2 efficient not only in combat but also as a training and skill development platform. One point worth mentioning is the export potential. With rising interest in indigenous defense solutions, several countries look for fighters that offer good performance without extremely high acquisition costs. The MK2, with its upgraded capabilities, attractive price point compared to many global jets and strong service support from HAL, could find international buyers. This would strengthen India's position in the global aerospace market and encourage further development of advanced technologies. Finally, the Tejas MK2 stands as a symbol of technological progress and national capability. For India, this aircraft is more than a military product. It embodies long-term investment in research, engineering and manufacturing. Its success would boost the confidence of the scientific and defense ecosystem and pave the way for even more advanced systems in the future, including next-generation fighter programs. The coming years will reveal how the aircraft performs in real testing, but expectations remain high, and developments so far are encouraging. If you want, I can turn the whole script into a smooth video narration, adjust tone, make it more dramatic, shorter, or more technical.